good day to all. I am here to present my uh, research journal entitled Forecasting the Consumer Price Index in the Regions of the Philippines Using Machine Learning for a Time Series Model. Basically, the objective or the core objective of the study uh, is to showcase the enhancement of forecasting capabilities of hybrid that uh, the ARIMA or autoregressive uh, integrated moving average in predicting the consumer price index by harnessing the intricate nonlinear patterns capturing ability of ANN or artificial neural network. And of course, uh, the main objective is the hybrid model aims to outperform the standalone ARIMA model in accuracy uh, in accuracy of forecasting the CPI. Uh, in real world, CPI data can be utilized for empirical evaluation and comparisons by providing uh, valuable insights into the effectiveness and practical ap applicability of hybrid ARIMA and model. So, based on uh, the introduction, the consumer price index has relatively the main contributor or direct uh, contributor of the increase which is what we call the inflation rate and deflation rate. And in many developing countries, like Philippines, inflation is the significant macroeconomic concerns, and the Philippines is no exception. And by with, with uh, being said, conventional econometrics with the combination of the machine learning will help to uh, achieve or aims the enhancement of the predictive modeling by means of hybrid or combinations of ARIMA and an artificial neural network. And the following are the research elaborations by step-by-step procedural or procedural way on how to um, analyze the data. Step number one, visual inspections of the data. We're in to check the overall visual trends of the data across all regions. And the second one, modeling of the two models, ARIMA, the autoaggressive integrated moving average, and ANN using the multi-layer perceptrons and, and of course the activation functions. Step number three, integration using the pitted values from the ARIMA to train the artificial neural network. And once the integration done, step number four, uh, forecast and evaluate Evaluation. So evaluation means evaluating the accuracy of the forecast using metrics like the mean absolute error, RMSE, or what we call root mean squared error, or mean absolute percentage error. Those are the metrics that we could that we can use to compare for the accuracy of the model. And based on the results and findings, the following regions, including the Philippines, the table summary, metrics of Box Jenkins models, the ARIMA 110 for the Philippines, NCR region 1, uh, 11 and region 13 model is applied for predicting the monthly consumer price index. The ARIMA 110 model indicates that it includes a first order differencing and a moving average component of order zero or Q is equals to zero, implying there is no need for additional moving average terms and the AR component is not explicitly mentioned there, but is it 
implicitly include as ARIMA 110. It indicates that the presence of an autoregressive component of P is equal to 1 for regions 4A, 5, 7, uh, 8, 9, and 10, 12, and BARMM, and ARI, uh, ARIMA 010 is suitable model in pitting and forecasting the CPI. So this indicates that autoregressive and moving average terms are not needed. For car regions 1, 3, 4V, 6, and 7, the expert modeler applied the ARIMA 011 for forecasting and pitting the CPI values. This suggests that an autoregressive uh, component is not applicable to this time series data. By looking at the result of the modeling pace performed by the mo uh, expert modeler, the three different uh, Vox Jenkins models were applied by widely across different CPIs. So this suggests that those regions that share the same Vox Jenkins model display similar characteristic in terms of progressions and variations of values as shown during the exploratory phase of inspecting the individual CPIs per regions. Moreover, this given insights that those regions with same Box Jenkins model may also expect to have the same properties in terms of their individual economic in indicators that one way or another directly or indirectly influence the CPI values. So the model performance are evaluated using the various metrics such as stationary, R square, R squared, RMSE, or root mean squared error, mean squared absolute percentage error, or MAE, and normalized BIC or Bayesian information criterion, uh, Jung, L. Jung, Box Jenkins level and these models generate the expert modeler can explain significant portions of the variability in the CPI data. The RMSE, MAPE, and MAE values are re relatively uh, suggesting that the model predictions are closely to the actual values. The second portion would be the results and findings. So Based on the table of the uh, accuracy metrics of RMSE and MSE, for uh, RMSE and MSE are both commonly used performance metrics to assess the accuracy of predictions or forecast in various fields, including statistics, machine learning data analysis. These accuracy metrics are a deniable sound in the way evaluating the fitted values generated by have hybrid ARIMA and models for each region. Upon inspection, it's can it can be clearly seen that RMSE, MSE values across all multi-layer perceptions models are le relatively lower compared to those of the fitted values from the original Box Jenkins ARIMA models. This results further validated the primary goal of this ana analysis, wherein the pitted values are to be made for accurate through the integrations of artificial neural network in the ARIMA models. And lastly, the tables for the forecasted CPI from September to December 2022 using the ARIMA and ANN, the multi-layer perceptions machine learning more models develop the forecasted uh, consumer price index for each regions, including the Philippines, as a whole. Not notably, uh, regions four and five exhibit uh -huh. uh, relatively higher compared with others, and as we can see. Uh, the forecasted value from uh, September 22 until December using ARIMA and uh, multi-layer perceptions. And since the 
the combination of the hybrid hybrid Arima model uh, has a relatively lower compared with other models of Arima. So the hybrid Arima model is one way to predict uh, the consumer price index. So the table shown are the forecasted CPI from September to December 2022. And in conclusion, the study successfully developed and evaluated hybrid Arima and models for forecasting this CPI of the Philippines in its regions for 2022. And the models demonstrated accuracy in capturing the underlying patterns in the CPI data, providing the valuable insights into the economic indicators, influence on CPI values, and the integrations of ANN in ARIMA model significantly improved the accuracy of forecast, making it suitable approach for future CPI predictions. Thank you for watching.